Hello, this is episode 13, uh, and in this episode we're going to be taking on the Cyclops. If you remember in the last episode, we've been in all the Lucis and fighting the three princes, the three skeleton princes. So now we're going to be coming out of there and clearing out the Kirata forest. And it's a massive place, so I'm going to skip a lot of it because most of it is the same, and it's just Arachnos and some other small creatures. And from time to time we're going to stop and look at the nice scenery. There's not much left now, just a few more. A few more skeletons hiding here. Skeletons in the closet. Well, alright, looks like we've cleared the Kirata forest. That took a while. But uh, I'll show you on the map, so you can see. It's all clear, the entire place. Done. And now we're going to be crossing this bridge and fighting the Cyclops, Polyphemus. Get ready for this. We've got some helpers, although they're completely useless. It's quiet and scary. Get ready because this one is going to be a big one. Uh oh! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, let them, let him kill them. Because if any of them is alive at the point when you fight him and if they manage to finish him off they will actually get all the experience and you will get nothing so oh my god did you see that guy flying past <laughs> right so now we're gonna be fighting him one on one and uh... he's actually he's actually a fairly hard boss because he's got some dangerous attacks like these two you just saw um, his regular wax are pretty easy and when his foot stump it does a fair bit of damage but it's not too bad. But uh, that's one of his bad attacks when he does this wave along ground in ground because it can stun you and does a lot of damage. And his other dangerous attack is that roar which you know, this one. Because this roar, it actually does health reduction. So you best of all to, uh, to just move it out of the way. You could have vitality resistance for it, but you won't have that much at this point of the game. So it's best to just run around him, because this way you can dodge his most dangerous attacks. But yeah, I remember the first time when I was actually facing him. I actually found him quite hard. I was like, fuck, how do I fight him? So I basically ran all the way back to the Kirata forest, lured him in there. And since it's wide open space, I managed to just go around. And then I came back to the bridge whilst he was slowly trying to find me. And I outran him. So even if you can't beat him, you don't have to fight him. Just run like a coward. Oh yeah. And if you know Polyphemus from mythology, uh, he was obviously one of the Cyclopses. And Cyclopses were actually the well, they were actually good guys because they were helping with forging and stuff. They hel they helped to forge Zeus' thunderbolt even. But Polyphemus, he was a bit of a dick basically, and uh, we've killed him here. I'm gonna go loot him, and that's his club. It's not anyway as good as what we've got right now, so probably just gonna sell it later. And that's just something I picked up as well, so I'm not gonna have that either. Alright, I'm gonna just loot his chest and um, get more about his story. Oh yes, and uh, this is something I bought from Megara as well, just in case if I might need it, I'll put it here. It's just a scroll which will give us some extra damage capabilities. Oh yes, yeah, so this, his stuff is around here. Oh yeah, Polyphemus, he was actually the one of the Cyclops who Odysseus came across during his journey back from the Trojan War. And uh, what happens is that Odysseus and his men, they accidentally stumbled upon his cave. And at that moment, Polyphemus came in. And Polyphemus saw them and he's like, hmm, feast. And what the fuck, he's got spiders in his cave. It's like, he's not keeping his cave tight, is he? But anyways, so he basically trapped Odysseus and his men inside the cave. Well, along with a herd of sheep that he was keeping. And he basically started eating them bit by bit. And um, Odysseus and his men, they have had enough of this shit. So they came up with a plan. One day whilst um, Polyphemus was sleeping, Odysseus and, he, Odysseus and his men got um, his club and just sharpened it to a massive stake. They set the stake alight and then they poked his fucking eye out. And uh, basically blinding him this way. Polyphemus, he tried to, he obviously can't see him, can't see them, so he couldn't f catch them. So what he did, he opened the cave again to release all the sheep. And whilst the sheep was going, he basically was kept feeling with his hands to see if he could catch any of the men. But Odysseus was obviously more intelligent than him, so he got his men to hide underneath the sheep as they were coming out. 
and this way Polyphemus never caught them. And just before this happened, actually, Polyphemus asked Odysseus what his name was, and Odysseus said, my name is nobody. And Polyphemus believed him like a fool. And so when this happened, and he got blind and all, he starts shouting to his brothers, the other Cyclops, he starts saying, nobody's hurting me, nobody's hurting me. And they were like, what the fuck, what are you on about, mate? Because, you know, if, if someone was shouting to you, nobody's hurting me, would you believe them? Exactly, I didn't think so. And this is the uh, moral of the story, this is what happens when you being, you know, greedy and don't greet your guests with hospitality. But anyways, if you notice, we're in a Halcyon coast now. And uh, we're going to be completing another side quest in a sec, the shipwreck one, which a guy in Megara told us about. If you remember, he said he managed to escape from one shipwreck, uh, barely alive, and he came to Megara, and he said there's some treasures still left. So that's what we're going to get, we're going to get those treasures. There's plenty of wraths around here, you know, it's all these dead sailors. Alright, we we'll complete the quest because we've killed all the wraths and found these chests. And you can loot them. And uh, you know, there's another epic we found, a bloodstone. And that's actually one of the amulets. Actually, no, it's not an amulet. That's actually one of the rings. If you look here. There it is. Bloodstone. At the moment we can't equip it because it requ uh, requires minimum level 14. So we're gonna wait and equip it later. It's not too bad actually, it's pretty nice. And yes, there we go, completed the side quest, news of a shipwreck. So we're gonna carry on along the Helsing coast and kill some more enemies. I'm gonna grind some things into the sand. Ta-da! We just leveled up to level 11! Yes! Oh my god, this... Those wraths aren't kidding, are they? They really want to chop me into pieces. Okay. Now we're going to level up. Let's do this. So, we should probably put another point into Squall because it's starting to lose its effectiveness a bit. So, we need to keep it strong. And we're gonna put... We're gonna put the other two points in the defense tree. Because we wanna keep getting it high. And, uh... The attributes will put one in strength and one in intelligence. And we're gonna carry on along the Halcyon coast. I'm gonna bounce a few turtles off the walls. Right? These Ichtians, they never sleep, do they? It's night time. There's tons of shipwrecks here, aren't there? How many shipwrecks? Are, I mean, I thought the Megarikos had lots of shipwrecks. This Halcyon coast has even more shipwrecks. It's like it must have been. What was this? An entire fleet has crashed here or something. There we go. Loot the remains. Surprised the Ichthians haven't done that already. Alright. And now, if you notice there's a huge cave here in the shape of a mouth. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna clear it out. But wait, what's this? A battle marker shrine! Yes! We're gonna put it to use now and, and use it to clean this cave out. Because this is gonna make us a lot more powerful. For one minute. There. Much easier the way to kill these turtles really quickly. This is quite a simplistic cave actually, there's nothing too much special here, just more monsters really. So, if you do have an appetite for more monsters to kill, then come here and do so. They're not gonna bite, are they? And yeah, just like the previous cave we've been in, this one actually goes around as well, so it doesn't matter which way you go first. You're gonna come back from the other part. Look how fast this battle marker is killing these turtles. And, as soon as the battle marker is gone, our killing efficiency has gone as well. Now we're slow again. Yeah. Seriously, turtle die already. Energy potions. And what says? And look at that idiot over there. Trying to shoot his staff at me. And he can't get through because there's obstacles. Seriously, mate. I'm over here. Yep. Killing them by the numbers. I don't know why they haven't got the message yet. And that message is simple. Don't mess with me. Because I'm going to kill you. Take so much shit. Majestic chest. And who the fuck did that? How dare you? How dare you sneak up on me like this, huh? Come here. Come here, you idiot. Where are you going? Come here and fight. There. That's what happens to those... With those who mess with me. I'm gonna loot the rest of the place. 
Nobody interrupts us whilst we're looting. Looting is a sacred business. Damn, there are too many bloody turtles here, seriously. I wonder why I'm actually so... bent on killing them, though. I mean, I don't have to kill them, but... They haven't done anything to me, it's not like... They didn't steal my bread and didn't shit in my porridge, you know, so I have no idea why I'm slaughtering them by the numbers. I guess what's done is done. Alright, we cleared out the cave. And oh my god, it's a beautiful morning here. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh yes. And no morning is complete without some wrath coming to ruin your day. Yep. To continue killing these turtles. Even though they came out to have a nice. to enjoy the nice sunshine. Oh, finally! The last turtle shell. Now we can finally complete it. And it's already on our shield. And now, complete the turtle shell on our shield. And complete the champ bonus 8% pierce resistance. And now our pierce resistance is 32%. And that's pretty damn good for this stage of the game. No wonder there's so many rats around here, there's shipwrecks around every corner. Seriously, the morning in Titan Quest is like one of the most, perhaps the most beautiful time of the day. I could just sit on the seaside here and just not fight anyone, just sit and enjoy the, the nice waves coming in. Okay, looks like we're done around here. And uh, this is pretty much it, we're gonna stop the episode here. And uh, I'll have to go back, portal back to Megara and buy some more health potions because we're extremely low on them. So we're going to be doing that. And then we're going to be continuing in the next episode. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.